Sathuj uh, Chavla is a political journalist with four decades of experience and currently he is the editorial director of Asia's leading newspaper in English, the New Indian Express. He was born in Dera Ghazi Khan, Punjab, British India in 1946 and he is an alumni of Deshbandhu College, University of Delhi and he started his career as an economics lecturer in University of Delhi. Prior to his assignment with the New Indian Express, he was the editor of language publications in India Today magazine and worked as the group editorial director of India Today Group till November 2010. One of the top talk shows, uh, top uh, show hosts in India at India Today, he hosted a popular t uh, talk show called Sidhi Baat on Aaj Tak. And his weekly show Tikhi Baat on the IBM 7 channel had one of the highest user ratings for a news based program. He's credited with launching the regional editions of India Today magazine in vernacular languages like Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, and Malayalam. He was also awarded Padma Bhushan by the President in the year 2003. And uh, our second esteemed guest, Sri Vijay Chathaiwala, is a Swayam Sevak who trained and worked as a molecular biologist until he joined the BJP. And uh, he heads its foreign policy department. He was born in Nagpur and holds a PhD in microbiology from the University of Pune with four years of experience as a postdoctoral fellow at National Institute of Health, USA. He has a keen interest in innovation, healthcare, and global affairs, and he's worked in senior management role in pharmaceutical R&D for 18 years, uh, and his last role was the vice president in Torrent Pharmaceuticals Limited. His main expertise is new drug discovery and R&D portfolio management. He was, uh, he was also the person behind the success of Howdy Modi that assisted the prime minister's efforts to reach roughly 28 million expatriates and people of Indian origin around the world. Apart from authoring peer-reviewed scientific papers in international journals, he's the co-inventor of several global patents, and he has co-edited two books as well. And our third esteemed guest, uh, Professor Alok Chaturvedi, uh, is professor at Purdue University, and uh, he's also the director of IC, that is Institute of Social Empowerment Through Entrepreneurship. He's the founder, chairman, and CEO of Simulix Inc., a modeling and simulation company which is located in Purdue Technology Park. He's the technical lead for U.S. Department of Defense's uh, sentient world simulation product uh, project, and he is the founding director of Purdue Homeland Security Institute and has also served as an adjunct research staff member at the Institute for Defense Analysis, Alexandria, Virginia. He has been working on multi-agent synthetic environments for over 15 years now, and he's led a team of researchers to develop the synthetic environment for analysis and simulation, and it's being extensively used by the U.S. Department of Defense for war games, experimentations, planning, analysis, operations, and sh uh, shaping in multiple theaters. He is the principal investigator and project director for several major grants from National Science Foundation, and he's been involved with several government task forces on important public policy and national security uh, matters. He's also been decorated with a number of awards. Some of them are Outstanding Commercialization Award for Purdue faculty in 2007, Federal 100 again in 2007, and Sagamore of the uh, Wabash in 2005, which is the highest civilian award in the state of Indiana, awarded by the government of Indiana for his services to the state of Indiana. May I please request Sri Prabhu uh, Chavla to moderate the session and uh, begin the panel discussion. Thank you. Good morning, Kozi Court. A young friend from IEM. I'm a journalist by profession and was a teacher by choice at that particular point of view. So as a journalist, my freedom, Devashish, has taken away today by making me the moderator. But journalists are always frank and they don't fear anybody. But I have accepted the role because Devashish is passionate about certain things. I know him for a couple of years now. When he decides something, he goes after it and achieves it. I must congratulate him because he is very passionate about the idea of India. Therefore, he has been talking about me, about this book which he proposes to write, write about globalization and whatnot. When he invited me, I'm coming here for the third time or second time, I third time, once in Cochin and second twice here. I appreciate him that he's following it up 
whether he succeeds or not, I wish him all the best because India needs to be recognized globally. Topic is very interesting, globalizing Indian thought. I will just provoke him first, then leave it to them what they want to say, and then the last word will be mine, of course. I will preach in the last when they have spoken. Then you will hear my views as well. I have very conflict with the idea of India. You can't, India is not a Desi word. When you say globalizing Indian, because all the Desi Walas also, Sudeshi Walas fall for Indian rather than Bharat. You can globalize Bharat, but you cannot globalize India because it's a borrowed word. What is known, if you want to globalize, is the Bharati idea, not the Indian idea. When you use an English name for your own country, because India is perhaps the only country or couple of countries which has two names, India and Bharat. I don't know which, because even the constitution says, India, that is Bharat. But we all to call ourselves Indian rather than Bharatiya. Because globalization of India lies in its Bharatiyata rather than its Indianness. This is my feeling. Because whatever Prime Minister spoke very well yesterday, he was speaking about the Bharatiyata rather than Indianness. So I will leave it to the audience here and the panelists to go into the idea of Bharat. Can we globalize Bharat? Because when you talk about globalizing India, that means you are borrowing the word from Harvard because he's Harvard educated, the way she's sitting here. We are influenced more by what we get from outside. India before 500 AC, because Mughals came around 500, 600, and after that you have Britishers. So you had about 1250 years of foreign rule. So whatever was Indian or Bharatiya was lost during the next 1500 years. We don't remember anything before that, before that. whether India existed, whether Gupta period existed, whether Buddha was before that. And Buddha is a Bharatiya idea. But we don't propagate that idea. So I'm talking which idea you are talking about. Thought, which thoughts you are talking about. Are you talking about thoughts of spirituality? Are you talking about Bhartiya thought about society, Samaj? I don't know, most of you speak Hindi. Are we talking about religion? Ki Bharat ka religion kya hai? Everybody wants to ask, are we Hindu? Hindu is a religion or not? Because it's a way of life, or is Hindu to as a way of worshipping? We, we have as they say, Chhattis Kaur Devi Devata is Hindustan ke hain. It means India never had one God. So the Vivita, they may ekta, unity and diversity was born. DNA of India is unity and diversity. That's also an idea. But that is Bharatiyata, not Indian. Do you have any Indian thought or Bharatiya thought about the economy? You had Kautilya, you had Chanakya also. Was that an Indian thought or not? So you have to talk about these thoughts because we are talking about what thoughts, I don't know. Cultural unity of India is one thought. So I'm leaving these questions, then you have to talk about relationship between the family relationship and relationship with the rest of the world. So there are many things which are only in India. They were found in India, they were found in Bharat, and they have not been talked about. We talk about money, we talk about markets, we talk about technology which is the favorite subject of our Prime Minister, he always talks about technology. Technology, can, one can argue, the technology is also a Bharatiya concept. Somebody was made fun of yesterday, somebody said, Governor of West Bengal, my friend Dhankar says, Arjun ke baan ke andar nuclear power tha. That is also idea of India thought. Koi aur kuch aur bol deta. But if that was true, if, if the history of India is written after 5,000 years again, or India, history of globe is written 5,000 years ago, so you can say there was a space, there were aircraft, there were everything there. People in 5,000 years later will also think, this is also imagination, nothing existed like that. If there can be airplane today, it, if I can see on TV sitting here what Trump is saying in America, why couldn't Dhritaraj listen to somebody else in Mahabharata, that's what is happening in the war. What is the imagination? Well, I'm just, I'm just confused about all these things. Whenever the idea of Bharat comes, we all of we become defensive because we are just used to foreign invasion here in terms of cultural thought. What is foreign is good, what is Indian is bad. That's the philosophy. And I am, for example, I must say, because you people are thought to work very hard, eight o'clock in the morning till five o'clock in the evening, you work and do something because you are looking for your next job and campus placements. These ideas, I think, Devashish has done a good thing that all of you should listen to all of us 
about other things rather than how to make money, how to make valuation and forget the values. I think this will be the debate we are happening here. I will leave it here and ask Vijay to speak first, then I will speak. As I do to Vijay, over to you.